Hey, big sister. What's your least favorite show? That gets my gift. Welcome to Duporimo. Yeah, hey, before you stop it, what I really wanted to talk about was there are actors who appeal mostly to men, and then there are actors who appeal mostly to women. There's just that there there's something about them where women just latch on to them. It's like, ooh, I really like that girl. I'm I'm like that girl. I I want to be that girl. Ooh, you go, girl. Girl power. Yeah, that makes me think of that bit from uh, that movie Knocked Up, where he's explaining his website, and he's like, "Yeah, well, the, what are webs? Okay, think of a of an actress that you really like." Um, um, he's like, "Okay, how about Meg Ryan?" It's like, "Oh, oh, yeah, I love Meg Ryan." Okay, so what we do is we show you what movie you can go to to see Meg Ryan naked. She's like, oh, what the hell? <laughs> That's <laughs> such a male thing, and it's it's totally valid, too. If there weren't already a website like that that makes millions every year, uh, that's a brilliant idea. But, you know, a woman will see an actress and relate to her or think she's so cute or she's so funny or whatever like that, and a guy will see an actress and... Nine times out of 10, it's whether they find him attractive or not. Honestly, it's just that is life. That is how the Y chromosome works. And I'm not making excuses, but that's just how it is. You know, snow is cold. People freeze to death all the time. Does that mean snow is bad? But there are certain, I'm sorry. <laughs> there are certain actors, male actors, that men see and it's like, oh, well, yeah, I like that guy. I want to go, ooh, Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, whatever. I, okay, maybe maybe he's not a good example kind of thing. Hey, Dolph Lundgren played He-Man, okay? That guy was somebody I wanted to be. And you are. Just a fatter version. <laughs> but then there are actors that women go, ooh, oh, hot, cute, pretty, neat, handsome, sexy. Say more words. And guys are threatened by. Guys are made uncomfortable by. Guys don't like. Like Fabio. <laughs> you know what? I would imagine that nine guys out of ten, the same nine, would not like Fabio, would not want to see a movie with Fabio. And part of it is jealousy. Part of it is, ooh, this guy makes my wife warm in the nethers. And I don't. But a lot of them is, oh, I don't see it. I don't see what the deal is with this guy. Look at the long hair. Ooh, that guy's a poncy asshole. And... For the longest time, for years and years and years, I've felt that way. Fudge, I'm going to speak for everybody. We have felt that way about Leonardo DiCaprio. We don't like Leonardo DiCaprio. We are threatened by Leonardo DiCaprio. We don't really want to see a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio in it. I'm sorry. I, I don't like him. He's a freak and I don't like him. <laughs> wow, you took on an accent just no. without even trying to. And I'm not going to dispute whether he's a good actor or not, but I think he had an uphill climb after Romeo plus Juliet and Titanic, which I think were the one-two punch. Maybe there was something around there else. But, the guys, but guys of my generation just had ourselves rubbed the wrong way by... Leonardo DiCaprio, the man in the golden mask, iron mask, silver mask, tin mask, masks, aluminum foil mask. Yeah, all the sequels. You know, all of these <laughs> things. The man Each time in the, the polystyrene. Something else. Anyway, I guess you know where I'm going with this. Hugh Jackman's not one of those guys where I think that guys see him and it's like, oh, geez. I don't know. There's, some, there's just something likable about Hugh Jackman that I don't think is there with Leonardo DiCaprio or some of these other guys. And when In Time was coming out, I told you about it. And you're like, wow, hey, that sounds like a really good flick. Who's the guy? And I told you because I went to the panel at Comic-Con. And three or four months went by and the movie came out. And you're like, In Time, that was the movie with, that was Leonardo DiCaprio, right? And do you remember what I said? <laughs> he said, no, it's the poor man's Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> uh, you wish it were Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Justin Timberlake. Guys are threatened by Justin Timberlake. I don't like Justin Timberlake. I don't want to see a movie with Justin Timberlake in it. I'm sorry. The guy's a singer. The guy's a dancer. He's not an actor. He's got that weird curly hair. He's a white <laughs> rapper. I don't... And mostly it's just... He's a freak and I don't like him. There you go. Mostly it's just that you go see this movie and you know that every girl in the theater would rather be with him than with you. Now, in my case, that's every movie. You go see a movie 
where Kevin Spacey plays a leper. You go and see a movie with case. Zach Galifianakis in the lead role, and still every woman would rather be with him. And you know that's 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 life. And you know what? People tell me that Timberlake is a talented singer, and there's no question he's a talented dancer. But you can't make me not be threatened by him. You can't make me want to see a movie that he's in. And partly because I can't relate to that character. I can't yeah. walk into a room next to Jessica Biel and have more people in the room want to screw me than her. <laughs> That's an effed up concept, sir. You got to drill a hole right here in the old peeper for me. Or what, what is this thing? Noggin? Noggin, thank you. For me to even conceive of more people wanting to have sex with me than Jessica Biel. You know, I, I can see that. I, I think Justin Timberlake has even more to deal with than Leonardo DiCaprio has to deal with because of the fact that he started out as a singer. Singers that become actresses or actors already have an uphill climb because there's been so many of them over the years and very seldom have any of them become good actors that you go and go, wow, he really sold that. She really made me believe that she really was that person or whatever. They, they go there and they act like themselves. They deliver the line the way that they would deliver the line if they were that character. Like all those parts that Elvis got. Right. Was he a great, talented actor? No. He got them because he was a singer. When somebody is that famous, they're told they can do anything. Yeah. Lots of times you'll see these actors that want to be musicians too. And they're told, go ahead, you can do it because you're Keanu Reeves or whoever you might happen to be. And I'm always struggling against that where it's like Beyonce says she wants to be an actress now. Well, put her on screen. I'll watch her. I mean, uh, yeah, she might not be a good actress. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, how did this person get the part? Did they even audition? no. They got the part because somebody said, oh, Britney Spears? Yeah, we will cast her in this movie. She's yeah. got a contingency of fans. I think that's why uh, you'll find that Justin Timberlake will have a much harder climb to uh, be respected by men. The guy's a singer. He's a dancer. They're not going to respect him as an actor. Whereas Leonardo DiCaprio, at the very least, you could respect his acting. His acting was good. I, I think his biggest problem, like you were saying, is one two punch the kind of characters that he played. You know, he played, oh, dreamy Jack from Titanic, or he played, uh, you know, dreamy Romeo from Romeo plus Juliet. He, he was always playing these kind of wussy, kind of feminine characters that die at the end. Hugh Jackman didn't do that. Nobody can complain. Oh, yeah, this guy, he, Wolverine, that guy's a wuss. You know, Hugh Jackman came out playing the biggest badass around. I think that kind of makes a big difference as to who's going to be respected and who's not. And maybe I overspoke because I think in all these years, DiCaprio has sort of earned our respect. He has, he has shown that he's not a one trick pony that just gets by on his looks. Yeah, he's, he's got some talent. And, and you see a movie like Inception. Uh, some people like that in spite of Leonardo DiCaprio or whatever, but you have to admire that the guy has some talent and, and he yeah. just, he isn't just sailing by because he's a good looking dude. Totally. Uh, he, he's done several movies, I think over the last several years that it's to the point where people don't feel threatened, I think as much as they did at one point. Oh, I'm still threatened. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> well, you're and threatened by Zach Galifianakis see, though. I would still rather see a movie <laughs> without Leonardo DiCaprio in it. Sorry. But right now, this generation's Leonardo DiCaprio is not Zach Galifianakis, is not <laughs> Justin Timberlake. But we got ourselves the f***ing Twilight guy. The guys. The, what are they called? Bella and... No, Bella's the girl. Jacob and... We got Jacob Edward. and Edward. Robert Pattinson is Edward and... Kelsey Grammer. No, what was that guy's name? It was... The same name as Taylor the girl. Taylor, yeah, there we go. Is Jacob. And, you know, these guys may have talent. I don't know. But I don't want to see a movie with these guys in it. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, you know, one of them has the advantage of having been in a really good Harry Potter flick. So I'll give him one quarter of a benefit of a doubt 
But the other one, dude, he got Shark Boy and Lava Girl. That's it. <laughs> and hey, that Taylor <sighs> Lautner was in Valentine's Day, and his character in Valentine's Day wasn't too bad. It was it, he had some good moments. Well, see, I don't need to see Valentine's Day you because you that? just told me Taylor Lautner was. <laughs> I thought you did see it, and he was in an action movie this past summer. Directed by John Singleton. What happened? John Singleton. Jeez. Called Abduction. And uh, I cannot remember a trailer that bothered me more than the Abduction trailer. It's got a premise that's actually pretty yeah, solid. It looks like it could be a good film, but yeah, Taylor Lautner. But that guy, holy pee, man. Pee? It's got a good cast, too. Taylor Lautner, notwithstanding. Like Sigourney Weaver is in it. And Jason Isaacs is in it, and Maria Bello is in it, and Alfred Molina is the bad guy. And at one point he says, we're going to find you. What was the kid's name? Do you remember? Taylor. I have no idea. Sorry. Uh, Douche. He's like, we're going to find you, Taylor Lautner. <laughs> and Taylor Lautner has his action moment. I'll be back. Arnold Schwarzenegger action movie line. And it's not if I find you first. And his voice actually hitches in the middle of that sentence as if puberty <laughs> struck like a bolt of lightning during that line. I, I, once again, I feel I have to take on the mantle of malehood and speak for the entire gender. I don't need to see a movie with this guy in it, with this guy's squelched face and perfect abs and squeaky voice and squinty eyes. I don't need to see it, man. And my mom the other day watched Abduction. She and like my uncle and aunt and I don't know who else. And they were watching it in the living room. And she told me, and I was like, come on over. We're watching this movie. It's an action movie. I've heard it's really good kind of thing. And I was like, oh, really? What's it called? And she told me, and I was like, eh, no. I would rather not. And afterward, she was telling me how good it was. And, oh, you would really like it. Uh, did that movie, was it successful? And I told her no. And she's like, oh, why not? It was really good. And uh, I don't even have to tell you my reasoning of why it wasn't successful. I just explained. Action movies are made for men. I don't care if you think that that's an opinion or not. They're made by men for men. Written, directed, produced, starring men. That is the target audience. The same as a period love story is made for women. You know, I, 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 I'm trying not to be racist here, but that's what it is. Women, one thing. Men, another. And no man wants to see a movie with this guy in it that makes them question their manhood. And it's like, I can't believe it. My girl would rather be with this guy who talks like he's been sucking on helium and he looks like he hit him in the face with a snow shovel. She would rather be with him than with me and we're married. And... How many women are going to go to an action movie? Seriously. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. But not nearly as many as men because that's who the movie is made for. Yeah, it's not going to work if out. If they made a Wonder Woman movie that was completely alienating to men and said, we're going to market this at women, it would fail. I don't care if they made it for $3 million. It would fail because comic book movies are made for guys. And that's the mental perception that's in every woman except for the ones that listen to our show because they're better than normal <laughs> women. And so that's why the movie failed. I don't care. I, I mean, unless you could promise me that Taylor Lautner is killed by the bad guys <laughs> and America falls into servitude at the end, I'll be like, oh, okay, maybe I'll watch it then. I'm, I'm sorry. And I remember when The Beach came out and it was an action movie starring Leonardo DiCaprio that Fox poured a ton of money into. And it was like, you know, the big action non-period for once flick starring Leonardo DiCaprio. That movie ate garbage, man. That movie failed big time. And it's partly because of that, you know. And, and I don't know that The Beach was actually an action movie. It was marketed as an action movie. I never I saw it, it so I couldn't but, say. It was sort of a, a drama, thriller, romance it. thing with a little action in there. You know, I haven't seen Abduction. But having been directed by John Singleton and having the trailer, the awful trailer that I've seen countless times now. Okay, I'm sorry. Robert Pattinson at least had the flick. With him and Reese Witherspoon, where they fell in love under a circus tent in like 1935 or something like that. I can see that movie being successful, honestly, because yeah, that is person. the bread and butter that right there is like, hey, 
You like romance. You like period. You like Reese Witherspoon. You like Edward. Come see this movie. Now, why that movie didn't succeed? I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. But why abduction didn't succeed, um, I totally, totally see. Anyhow, uh, as long as he's in it, you know, it's like best friend of Peter Parker played by Taylor Lautner. I'm not going to go see it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ender's Game starring Taylor Lautner. I'm not going to go see it. Doing Steve the movie starring Taylor Lautner. I'm not going to go starring see Taylor it. Taylor Lautner as Rich Outfield. <laughs> See, that would be weird. <laughs> Hi, this is Rich Outfield. And the women oh. everywhere won't sleep with me, even though I'd just taken off my shirt. And look at these abs. All right. Thanks for listening to the uh, the show for today, folks. We'll see you later. Tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, or maybe this was the last day. Maybe today was leap day. Who knows? We don't because we recorded these a month in advance. Hey, don't. Oh, spoiler. Sorry. That Gets My Goat is produced under a Creative Commons license. Today's show sucked more than usual. No, same as usual. <laughs>